Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springville, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard sharing a lesson with Patty. This is my... Hi Patty! Hi! This is my uh, 14 by 14 inch canvas. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link right below Show More underneath the video. It's the first blue link but you have to open Show More to find it. First list and we are going to use some um, Black gloss enamel from folk art and some white gloss enamel from folk art also. You could use deco art Americana, that would work fine too. And I think I'm going to start by finding my glasses, which are on my head! Oh, awesome! Cool! And uh, we're going to shake up some paint. And I'm going to use a background color this time, a, a base layer I call it, to spread the other paint. And I'm going to try really... Mm, okay, that's why I love the spatula because I can see stuff that needs to come out. I'm going to try and rotate my turntable without knocking over too many bottles. I'm going to spread the space layer. I'm not going to worry about my edges. I want to get to the edge. I'm not going to worry about going over because I'm probably going to be tilting this unless something happens that's miraculous, which occasionally happens, but I'm not expecting it at this point. <sighs> Whatever you are, go away. It's very cold here today, which means paint is drying slowly and moving slowly, which is okay with me. I actually prefer it that way rather than having it dry up fast on me. I don't, I'm not too worried about the center, but the paint that I'm using now is going to facilitate the paint that I add next to flow. So a nice layer. If it was too thick, it would be a problem and I'd have to pour it off the sides, which reminds me it's probably a really good time to A, wipe off that on my studio rag, which is just a damp, heavy piece of cotton, and B, grab an edge catcher, C, wipe in that edge. All right, I'm going to grab an edge catcher, which is nothing more than the inserted protective panel on the front of a value pack of Artist Loft canvases in 16 by 20 inch size only that I get at at Michael's. So I'm going to push that up just for a minute and I have this um, part of a mortar and pestle that has a nice pour spout and probably any uh, measuring cup would do and let's see first last in is first out and I want some gold and I'm definitely interested in oh come on now it's sealed up on me it's only supposed to happen on a hot day this is the uh, folk art gloss enamel and the wind is coming up. And so long as nothing, thank you for catching that, Patty. So long as nothing blows into the artwork, we'll be very happy. And I'm gonna have to remember right now that I can only have so many colors because very quickly, I'm gonna have more paint than I know what to do with. And I want that purple to be the first out. Well, maybe not the first out, maybe <laughs> similar. And I'm going to stop now and I'm going to push my colors back out of my way. And you know me, I could probably use eight more colors and I'd be pretty happy. What is that? I have no idea what that is. It was on the window. All right, so I'm going to pull my edge catcher over again. And this is just basically to protect my tile and something I can use my spatula on to pull the paint off of and use it. I want another color. <laughs> I want another color now. So that's the... Um, mysterious that they used to make in art minds. And I'm going to go... just overlap. Oh, the wind is coming up. It's helping. I have wanted to do this for a while. I probably have maybe more of a puddle than I wanted to to start with. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to start with what we've got, and I can always add more paint, but first of all, I'm going to try and tilt. And see where that goes, and see what I like, if I like it. See how far I can make it spread. And I can always hand off my leftovers to Patty if she likes them. <laughs> <laughs> but I've wanted to know for a long time how far I can make paint spread and see what I could make with the limited amount to begin with. So that's this process right here, is that experiment. Patty, you want to come over on this other side? You can actually see what I'm doing, because I tend to tilt to the left. And I keep seeing you on my perf... That's, a, that's an undersea fan. That's great. That's pretty cool. So I'm just letting it 
relax down onto that edge catcher and instead of tipping it back which is what I would usually do I'm going to move that down I'm just going to use what I've got right here right now and put it right back on I don't have a plan for that but paint flows to paint and it will move more paint and as much as I like this I want something in there right now that's hot Not only that, I think I want more gold, because all of my gold sort of disappeared. I need this out of the way. And in order to get gold, I'm going to give it to myself. And I'm not thinking about it. I'm just being random. Because I don't know what's going to stay and what's going to go. And why I put that on top of there is beyond me. Because I want that edge catcher back here. Now I do tend to trust my instincts as I go along and one day they may fail, but so far so good. And when I see, if I don't have anything that I'm in love with, that's okay because I have more paint. And I just want to keep flowing paint and stretching out my pattern. Here, this is for Patty. I wanted to see what would happen if I tilt it down a little. Let's let that go right over to the edge. This time, I'm going to let it pool and flow down and rock my edge catcher a little bit. Everything's coming this way. We hope it doesn't suck. I'm going to let it fall back. I can use what's on my edge catcher again. I'm not sure I'm in love with my composition yet. It's not really a composition yet. I do have some drips and I'm just going to tuck my thumb right in between them, right over here, and let that go. So that's actually kind of cool. And I'm not done yet by any stretch. I have to decide what else I might want in there. And I really kind of like, I like the gold. But there's this thing I've been doing recently I'll put a new droplet of paint in and then let it drip and it has a whole new element of its own and there's all kinds of other stuff I can do to expose new colors and pop new patterns and sometimes it feels sacrilegious and sometimes it's okay More often than not, it feels sacrilegious, to tell you the truth. That's okay. And I'm just composing as I feel I might enjoy what I'm getting. And I'm almost someplace that I don't mind what I've got. I really want something over here. And I want some more orange. <laughs> and I've got plenty of color. So I'm going to add it right down the middle and see if that will help get me what I want. And I may wind up with too much paint, but for me right now that's okay because I will rescue it off the edge catcher and do something else with it. So that was a completely different pattern. And I'm just going to let that spread out. And that different pattern is the one thing that's going to make everything really zing. Let's get that edge catcher right here. And I'm just going to rock it. And right now I'm going to let that, I'm going to scrape it off and let it go back again. I'm going to notice where the flow of paint is. And everything else is not flowing too badly for me. I'm not sure I'm that thrilled with that big orange splooge in the middle, but I'm not done yet. And I'm pretty stubborn. I'm going to let that all flow right down for right now because I see what's happening with the rest and I don't mind it. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to tip it down and flow it back on again and scrape it up. 
because I can. Hey, that's the first that's the first volume that I created about fluid art. It's on the Amazon link under show more under the video. And uh, it's recently been joined by volume two, Unlimited Possibilities. Sort of like what this needs. <laughs> so I'm going to take my paint right off what I had. I got a little more brown than I'm used to, but that's the orange factor. And, uh, oh please, I just made this. I'm having too much fun again. <laughs> it's a hazard of the... So, I may or may not keep tipping. I may pull that piece of hardened paint out I just dropped in. Agitated paint will often sell and uh, having the enamels in there definitely is a catalyst for making cells. I'm just going to use my finger wherever I've got some paint going over. Patty's putting up with me being self-indulgent because I'm just having too much fun. That's what's going on. Come on out. It doesn't even look like it's screwed down. That was fortunate I noticed that, I think. I think I'm having, my muse is saying turquoise. <laughs> and more stuff is blowing on the wind. You have to have fun with this. You can't be too. St you can't take the accidental aspect of this art too seriously, or you're gonna you're gonna overwork it and frustrate yourself. So, and just realize there's always tomorrow, no matter what. I want a lighter turquoise. I didn't use any of my color shifting turquoise today. You know what? <laughs> and that's Floatrol. Of course it is. It's still a because I can moment. <laughs> and I'm just playing. I'm, I'm going to offer to show Patty something she'd rather see that she could emulate if she wants to. But I know Patty a little bit at this point, and I know she likes to play. So I pretty much have no doubt that whatever I show her, she'll take her own avenue. I keep threatening chain and I kind of want some. I have two minutes left. And I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay because that's pretty much my MO anyway. Actually, I like that so much. They're odd color combinations for sure. Like I said, paint will lead paint. I'm so tempted to throw chain in here, I can't even tell you. But I'm not sure where I would put it. I have almost a balanced composition, and I'm not unhappy with what I've got. some texture. Paints encountering each other will often create a whole new bunch of things. I could take my 
basting brush and add some different textures in here cautiously. is not really hurting my feelings any. It's not really what I intended. <laughs> but it's what happened anyway. <laughs> and that makes it kind of different. And different is good. Somebody's a happy birdie. I think I'm pretty much done and all I really need to do at this point in time is decide if I have any more tilting in me. I say I'm done, but you know you can't trust me. And anything, any place on the edge that has paint near it, I will just continue to pick on with my finger. So that's different. And I think I'm done. And I'm going to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. And I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill. And uh, if you give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And if you watch the videos longer, it's the only thing that the YouTube algorithm knows to help me out. And if you do that and, and, and watch the commercials, you might help keep me here and buy me some art supplies. And if you want to really help in that department, all you really need to do is join the monthly drawing. And there are eight paintings and one of two books and a lesson this month, in February anyway, 2020. Oh, I used no, no silicone in my work and uh, the enamels are helping pop all kinds of beautiful cells. It's an abstract piece. It's got some drama. I'm, lo I'm loving it, honestly. It's not like anything else. There might be something else I want to do. <laughs> and it is smoking because it's a cold day here. Hopefully I did not torch for too long because I really want to just, yep, probably did. When am I going to learn? There, I got that little pop of orange that I needed. And I don't know what that is, but it's going to go. All right, so I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. Um, under the video, you can find the paint pouring recipe and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest links. And uh, instructions on how I mix my paint in bottles also. I just needed that to be a little bit darker purple. And I think I'm almost done. And I love you guys. And I hope you come again. Check the community board for tomorrow's video. Or uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook for students. Also, that's where I post tomorrow's video. And uh, I love you guys. I think I said that twice now. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll see you again maybe tomorrow. I post almost every day. Thanks a lot. Bye for now. Priscilla out.